Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Speed Build Sunday. So today we are building a Mediterranean mansion. Maybe an exaggeration just a little bit with the name there, but it's kind of a mansion, and it's Mediterranean. Therefore, Mediterranean mansion. I think it's, oh, I have no idea how many bedrooms it is. I, I, I built this like a week ago. I don't know how many rooms are in the house, but it's a mansion-y type house. I found a picture of an actual mansion <laughs> and used that inspiration when I built this. So you, I can call it a mansion, right? That's how that works. Uh, it's still pretty big. It's on a 30 by 30 lot. Uh, it's really expensive too. And it's in the new Jungle Adventure world. So it's a pretty fun place. I spent a long time building this, uh, which is always, I do this to myself every time where I'm pre-recording right now to go to the UK. So I'm gonna be gone for like 10 days. Um, and this week I'm making videos for this week and also for the next 10 days because I'm gonna be gone because I need to like, get ahead and blah, blah, blah. So I've made a million videos this week, right? And I always, when I have to do that, end up making more difficult videos. <laughs> like, I don't have any time for anything, so I choose to make a mansion instead of a small house. Like, what's, why would I do that to myself? I don't know, but I always do. And so here we are. Uh, I think it's pretty cute, actually. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if I would use it as a vacation home in this world. <laughs> uh, I might move it to a different world and actually like play in it as a house house, but I don't know. It was really fun to build and it turned out pretty cute. And you guys, I have some stories for you today about Twitch, <laughs> of course, but just about like this person that I met yesterday because it was a wild time. So we have to give some context to this because college is wild, let me tell you, because yesterday, <laughs> so basically what I do, I have class every morning at like 8.39, um, depending on what day of the week it is. And so I always have to leave pretty early in the morning for class. But the thing is, I am on internet time. And so I stay out very late until like, you know, two in the morning. <laughs> Uh, making videos and stuff because that's how internet people work and so I don't sleep much and so when I get up in the mornings to go to class I never really like get ready for class I just kind of like go and then I come back and then I get ready and then I make a video <laughs> so like I come back get ready and then do a face cam video but like before I leave for class I'm never actually like dressed or I don't know so I was wearing yesterday to class I wore my like a twitch merch shirt and twitch merch hoodie because we love twitch and so after class I had to run to the bookstore and buy scantrons because first of all I don't know if this happens if like other universities do this because I hear people talk about it and they're like what you have to buy your own scantrons so scantrons are like those things that you can bubble in answers for tests on um and a lot of places I guess provide scantrons to you not here you have to buy your own here or get your own somehow because they you they give out free ones and stuff but like that's inconvenient so I just buy them because I'm not going to go like swipe my ID and get one free one a day at the student union like meh, it's not worth it so I just buy like a pack of six uh but I had to go buy more yesterday because I have like got uh, exams coming up this week and stuff and so I went to the store to buy some scantrons and I was like in line waiting and stuff and I was wearing my twitch shirt as one does and the woman working at the well she was like a student too so she was like my age probably but the girl working there at the bookstore um she was like hey I love your shirt so much and I was like yeah twitch and she was like yeah I stream do you and I've just I've never had such a friendly interaction about anything before like I it was just so cool to have like I don't know how to explain this, but like, she's just like, oh, you stream me too. And then I was like, wait, no way. And then we talked about Twitch for a second. She's like, you're like on Twitch. And I was like, ah, I watch this streamer and blah, blah, blah. And like, I don't know. It was just a really fun conversation to have. And I've just, I love that a whole lot. Like, usually I would hate to be called out like that, like to have to talk to someone about things like that. But just people are so friendly about this stuff. And she was like, oh, you know, what do you stream? And um, then she asked my favorite streamer was, and I froze because I, I watch a lot of streamers on Twitch. Like I lurk on a lot of Twitch streams. But the thing is when she asked me yesterday, the first person that came to mind, oh my God, this is so bad, was Andy Milanakis because I've been watching a lot of his streams recently because he's just, he's this IRL streamer. I don't know if you know who he is, but if you don't look him up really fast, get some context because you need to know. So Andy Milanakis does a lot of IRL streams where he like will literally just walk around with his phone streaming like on a selfie stick and like live his life and he streams it and he's so entertaining I don't know what it is it's just it's so weird that it's fascinating to me and like the other night I watched him paint his living room like he splatter painted on the wall like he just bought he went to the store like so he he streamed himself going to the store buying all the paint coming back and then picture this right he has this big wall in his living room and he bought like a bunch of black paint and he just splatter painted the wall and then painted these giant creepy faces on it. Like it was, why did I watch this for like two hours? I don't know, but I did. And I, <laughs> like what's wrong with me? But I'm just fascinated by these things. I just couldn't look away. He didn't cover his couch at all. Like it was so stressful to me because I am obsessive and whatever, you know me. Um, but like picture this, ready? He's like standing in the middle of his living room, 
couch completely like not covered just there like this nice leather couch and he's like flinging black paint at the wall and his couch is ruined now like it just it caused me so much stress but I kept watching it I couldn't turn it off and so when she asked me who my favorite streamer was the first person that came to mind was Andy Milanakis and then I was like oh no I didn't say that to her of course because you could never admit those things but like that was who came to mind at first when she asked me and then I was like oh you know I watch a lot of my friends on Twitch <laughs> Because, like, I couldn't very well tell her Andy Milanakis. The other, like, a couple weeks ago, too, he streamed himself. He he was freestyling. Um, he was just, like, sitting there. It was, like, 11 in the morning for me. So it was, like, 8 a.m. for him. He was, like, super drunk. Um, probably super high. I don't remember. Um, but, like, it was a mess. And <laughs> he was, like, sitting there. And he was just rapping for like a long time because I was in class and I got a message to my mods chat on my discord they were like guys look at this and then we were all like watching I was in my anthropology class watching Andy freestyle like wh what am I doing with my life I just I don't know but yeah we love Andy here on Lil Simsy <laughs> and so I just my point here is that I had a very good interaction with this girl um who also streams and it was just really cool even though I couldn't tell the truth my favorite streamer I mean I don't I don't think Andy's my favorite streamer but he's he's up there I've just been watching a lot of his streams recently. <laughs> oh my god. I don't actually know who my favorite streamer is, though. Because it's true. I do watch a lot of my friends on Twitch. Like, mostly my friends' streams all, like, lurk around in. Um, also, we love Bob Ross. Like, let's be real. I watch way too much Bob Ross on Twitch. Like, last night, I had so much to do. Like, I had so much work to do. Because I'm trying to pre-record for all these videos. Like, I have so much. And I have homework. And I've got an exam on Monday. Like, I've got a lot of stuff going on. But last night, I watched Bob Ross stream for probably two hours. And it's like, if you guys don't know who Bob Ross is, he's... <laughs> you look him up too for context, but he's dead. Um, but they, they like stream reruns of his show where he like paints. And it's just so entertaining. But last night, they had these frauds on instead of Bob. Like they have this woman, I don't know who she is, but she's a fraud. She was streaming with on his channel, so I had to keep watching to find out who she was, of course. And then his son came on, and I had to watch him, because we love Steve. And then and then Bob came back, so I couldn't turn it off. And that, yeah. I, we love procrastinating by watching Bob Ross stream on Twitch. Oh my god. Oh, what is wrong with me? And I keep doing this thing, like, the past few days. I've been procrastinating. I have a lot of homework to do and a lot of videos to make, right? And so I'll always procrastinate the homework by making videos, get sick of making videos, and then procrastinate that by doing homework. And I just, it's like this never-ending cycle of, like, procrastinating work with other work. And I, <sighs> it's fine. I'm fine, you guys. Everything's fine. Now here we are, only not even halfway into the video, and I'm still just talking about Bob Ross and complaining oh my god my flight's on Tuesday I'm recording this on Saturday I have to get all my videos done today because I have a lot of homework to do tomorrow and I'm just I'm feeling very overwhelmed but this is one of those things where I always am very miserable and overwhelmed and freaked out and terrified when I pre-record things because I have to make so many videos all at once but then I'm gonna have a really good break when I get there and that's all that matters right like I'm gonna be gone with my friends for like 10 days it'll be a blast um just have to get there first <laughs> And that's the hard part. And I can't just not upload while I'm gone because then I'll freak out and I'll worry about it the whole time. Like, I have to have videos in advance. And so we're, we'll get there. It'll be fine, you guys. People always tell me, they're like, Kayla, take a break. It's okay, take a break. And the thing is, to take a break on YouTube, you have to do twice as much work in advance to be prepared for the break. And that's just the worst, but it's, it's the truth. So here we are. Take a break. Run away with us for the summer. Let's go upstate. Sorry, I... Hamilton you just we love Hamilton oh my god speaking of Hamilton <laughs> I'm going to see Book of Mormon on Thursday that's no wait oh my god when you see this I think I'm posting this next weekend so you're when you see this I've already seen Book of Mormon oh my god I keep talking about it because you guys know how much I care about Book of Mormon I am so obsessed so unbelievably obsessed right I made a whole video like mm, two months ago, December, December I made that video, I don't remember, yeah it was December, where I went to see Book of Mormon and I came back and I recorded that video at like 2 a.m. after I got back from the show and I was like freaking out about how much I love Book of Mormon and I was like sobbing and talking about, I mean I wasn't crying in the video but I cried the whole time before I recorded the video because I just love Book of Mormon so much I finally got to see it in person and I get to see it again on Thursday and when you see this video I've already seen Book of Mormon again and so oh my god I'm so excited, wow future Kayla is having the best time of her life. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, 
But yeah, guys, go ahead and follow me on Twitter uh, and Instagram and stuff for updates on my trip if you want, because I will probably be posting on there a lot. Maybe more on Twitter than Instagram. I'm not good at Instagram. I don't leave my house enough to take photos. Sounds like a joke, but it's not. But when I do go places, like on my trip, <laughs> my Instagram looks great the whole time. But when I'm home, I don't leave. So no pictures are taken. So my Instagram is kind of dead. But my Twitter, we love Twitter here on Lil Simsy. My Twitter is great. I'm very funny. You should follow me. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> oh my god. The thing is, I'm not even kidding. Like, I, it's, I'm so funny on Twitter. But yeah. Um, <laughs> why do I do stuff like this? I had something to say and oh no no oh my god I want to talk about weather for a second because British people no offense you guys know it's true you love to talk about weather like this week I'm recording this on the 3rd of March okay so we're a little bit uh, in advance but this week it's been very cold and snowy in the UK I don't know if you'd heard but it's all anyone ever talks about and all of my friends live in the UK and I mean all of them and so I've just been hearing for the last week they're like, oh my god, it's so cold, it's snowing here, it's so cold, it's snowing here, it's so cold, it's snowing here. And like, it's just, it's very amusing to me. And people tell me, they'll be like, Kayla, you know what, you know what's cold in the UK? Better bring a jacket. And I'm like, really? It's cold in the wintertime? I had no idea. It's just, it's so funny to me that it's like, it never stops. It's all I ever hear about. Um, but yes, I'm aware that it's cold and I did bring a jacket. So don't worry, kids little Florida child is bundling up. I'm not trying to die. Uh, it's actually not even that cold compared to like a lot of places, but you know, it's fine. Cause when I was in the, I went to Chicago for Christmas cause my grandparents live up there and stuff. Um, and in Chicago we were there. So like around Christmas time, it was like three degrees Fahrenheit for a bit. And with the wind chill, it was like negative 14. That's cold. I have never been so cold in my life. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I think I can handle some little UK chilliness. See, I shouldn't talk about weather because whenever I do this, people in the comments are always so weird about it. People on the internet, if you ever mention weather, everyone else is like, <laughs> excuse me, it's worse here. Like, okay, back in the summertime, I'd be like, oh my God, it's so hot in Florida. People would complain. They'd be like, um, you think it's hot in Florida? I live on the sun and it's much worse. <laughs> like, okay, we get it. It's hot on the sun. Um, I, it's so funny. Everyone always has like, well, it's worse here for me. Meh. Oh, it's hot in Florida. It's cold here in Alaska. <laughs> ah, anyway, um, <laughs> you just can't win. People always have something to say, don't they? See, this, I think, is the prime example of a voiceover going super far downhill because I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm talking about the sun and it being cold in Alaska. And I've definitely already said these exact same things in a different video. Like, I've definitely made that sun joke before. I don't know when, but I definitely have. Like, I have a very distinct memory of making a sun joke like that. But I bet it was last time I pre-recorded for the UK. I wouldn't be surprised if I was, like, making a house just like this, doing a voiceover for it, and I made that exact same joke, because that's a very me thing to do, is just make the same joke twice. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Oh boy. All right, you guys, but can we talk for a second about how excited I am to go to the UK? Because I, I keep mentioning it. I keep saying it. Mentioning? Mentioning? What did I just say? I don't know. But, you guys, I get to see my friends <laughs> in a little bit, and I'm so excited. You guys... You don't understand how, I mean, maybe you do, but you know how annoying it is to have friends that live so far away and like, it just really, it sucks and I'm so lucky I get to go see them again um, because I've missed them so much. I miss my dear pals so much. I get to go see Hasty. You all know I love Hatsy so much and Steph and just all my dear, dear friends and I get to see Book of Mormon with them and I, oh, I'm gonna cry. I don't know why I'm crying in the club right now. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I just wanna give a little shout out to my dear friends Hattie and Steph because I like them a whole lot and I'm so excited to see them. Um, you all know who they are probably already, but I just, they're my favorite people and I get to see them in person soon and I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I always talk about them, but like they're some dear pals and they're YouTubers and they make Sims videos and stuff. So if you don't see them, if you don't see them, if you don't know them already, what am I saying? Go ahead and give them a little follow. <laughs> Press that subscribe button uh, because they make some quality Sims content much more quality than my sims content that's for sure because yikes this is not quality oh my god and i get to meet so some of my twitch mods live in the uk as well right and i've known them all for so long and i get to meet them in person next week which is gonna be so crazy to me like i get to meet them in person my twitch mods my dear twitch mods who do so much for me i'm so excited <laughs> Um, cause like my mods and I, I'm really close with a lot of my Twitch mods because I talk to them like all the time and I just, 
this is a little shout out to my Twitch mods as a whole because they do so much for me and I appreciate them all a whole lot and I get to meet some of them in person. Like I intend to bring them all American snacks. I asked what they wanted. I'm bringing them snacks. It's going to be a great time. I just, huh, oh my God. I've, I've known most of them for a really long time too. Like, like some of them, like over a year I've known them. Uh, cause they used to run like accounts on Twitter and stuff that I would follow and, um, uh, yeah, sim accounts for my sims on Twitter. Those were the days. Um, but I get to meet them in person like next week. How wild is that? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. I don't know. I, I feel kind of gushy about it, but oh my God, when you're seeing this video, I will have met one of them the day before. So, I mean, probably tweeted about it because I do stuff like that. If you want to see, check out my Twitter. This is just another, like, subtle plug for the Twitter, at Lil Simsy on Twitter. I'm just saying, check it out. Follow me, please. I'm so funny. <laughs> oh, this video is going so far downhill. I've just, I've completely lost my mind, but it's fine. We, we just have to power through. We'll, we'll get there eventually. I have to make, hang on, let's pull up my Google Doc. You know what? We'll take a quick detour. I have to make, um... Let's see, I need to record three more builds, like the actual build and voiceover. I have one voiceover to do and a bunch of, so it's three builds, four voiceovers after this, and then a bunch of editing, but we're getting there. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there. I mean, we're not almost there, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I'm actually going crazy. I've been making so many videos this week. I just, ugh. Okay. I need to stop complaining though, because it's going to be worth it. It's going to be so worth it when I get there. Oh, and the inside of this house is super weird. My apologies, you guys. It's very beige and boring, but by the time I got to the end of this, like by the time I got to here in the build, I was so sick of furnishing that I just was like, eh, beige walls, random bed, don't care, lamp there, yes, filled up. It looks decorated enough. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to like make actual, th I just, ugh, you know, just, ugh, that's a good description. Also, love the use of those balcony doors like windows in here. I think it's really cool. Um, I never do these things and I just, I'm a fan. Anyway, um, <laughs> usually when I go away like this, I end up doing like 10 minute build challenges and like super dumb watch. You can tell that I'm pre-recording whenever I make things like townie makeover and like random cast video, <laughs> like all those like short quick ones that I can knock out like that because I just, it's so hard to make so many builds like this because one, like making a build, a big build, a build build, a, a, a build big, making a build big is really difficult when you're pre-recording because it takes so long to make the video and also the voiceover is long. And let me tell you, it's very hard to talk to yourself for 20 minutes like this especially if you're doing it for like four different ones in a row because you don't have anything to talk about. I've completely run out of things to talk about already. It's been 17 minutes. I have three more of these to do. I have nothing left. Like, I don't know what to say anymore. Oh my God, I have four more of these to do. No. Oh no. This is terrible. What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm not interesting enough to fill up this much content. <laughs> oh God. All right. Well, I'm sure I can brainstorm something to talk about. Something stupid. <laughs> like, yesterday in class, we did this. Like, one of those kind of videos. Because for some, I mean, you know what? I have never told an interesting story and people still watch, right? So it's probably fine. Who, who needs quality content? Not us. That's for sure. I, I mean, we've gotten this far this way. <laughs> Let's just keep on going. Uh, but you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut off pretty soon. Um, this is a jungle adventure kind of build, so if you want to see, I have some more jungle adventure videos pack, uh, that I'll link down below. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but I did like a treehouse video. Um, I did, I've got a let's play going on of jungle adventure, so I've got a lot of, lots of jungle content that you can look up if you want to see it. Um, I'll have, you know what, I bet there's a playlist. And it's linked for you if you want to, for some reason, like three weeks after release, two weeks, I don't remember, if you want to just binge some jungle adventure content late in the game, go for it. There's links for you. Um, but also this house I think is probably better off as like a house house and not a jungle adventure kind of <laughs> vacation home because she's a little fancy and home-like. Home-like? I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore, but you know what? The video's almost over, so we're going to go ahead and cut off right here and jump into the screenshots and all that good stuff. But you guys, with that being said, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Lil Simsy, because quality Twitter content, funny tweets, great memes. You should follow me. Please follow me. I want more Twitter followers. Thank you.
Do you think I look desperate begging for Twitter followers like that? Because I kind of do, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. Trust me, my Twitter is hilarious. I'm a little biased, but it's true.